Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lasty here and welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Player Predictions. Today, we're going to be going with a bit of a Colombian episode, rocking four players from the nation of Colombia to see what ratings I'm going to give them in FIFA 15. First off, if you guys are looking to buy any coins, go ahead and check out the fifashop.co.uk and make sure you use my code LA5TY if you want to get yourselves a nice little 5% discount. As always guys, links are going to be down below in the description and if this video can hit 2,000 and likes I'd be really really grateful so moving on to the first player of today's episode it's going to be this guy Quadrado he has currently got an 81 rated right mid card on FIFA 14 ultimate team now what I've done with him is we've going to give him a bit of an upgrade we're going to upgrade him by two to an 83 but currently I don't think his stats that he currently has on the 81 card are really worthy of an 81 rating uh, so he's got a couple of stats right there which are going to go up quite considerably that being his shooting and his passing he's proved that he's a great player uh, in real life for Fiorentina and also obviously for Colombia uh, and I think we may be seeing a five star skiller here a skill upgrade for Cuadrado would be amazing I've also put him over on the left wing uh, left wing right wing I don't care that would be awesome either way a five star skiller uh, again over in the Serie A would be amazing plus eight shooting and plus four passing that puts him at 74 shooting and 80 passing with a whopping 94 pace and 89 dribbling. This would be an amazing card uh, and especially it would be one of those cards which at the start of the game would sell for probably 30,000 plus because you know how things go at the start of FIFA uh, and I would really look forward to a five star skiller uh, in Quadrado. Moving on to our second player of the episode. It's going to be this guy Jackson Martinez. Now you go, you guys know I have an absolute love for this guy. Uh, and uh, what I want to see in the next FIFA is this. Uh, a plus two upgrade again to an 83, just like Quadrado. I think we've really seen that the Colombians have something uh, in this world. And they really are showing their football skills over the last year, which is great. 83 rated for Jackson Martinez. Uh, and we've boosted every single one of his stats, some more than others. Uh, his dribbling, his passing gone up by two. And his shooting gone up by four. Still not quite an 80 shot, uh, but still, I think 79 is a deserved rating for his shooting. He would have, again, the four-star skills, the four-star weak foot, and would just be a, a, a force, again, on Ultimate Team. Uh, but not quite as seen as quite so overpowered, I guess, uh, because, you know, he'd go up a couple of ratings. So he kind of deserves to be a good player uh, on Ultimate Team, and he wouldn't be someone that you would always come up against and think, oh, shit. Uh, someone's just using a sweaty, overpowered squad. 87 heading, though, uh, could be quite dangerous, depending on how they play headers uh, on FIFA 15. Now, moving on to quite a uh, a big player. 90-rated Falcao is the current rating of Falcao on FIFA 14. Uh, and in FIFA 15, I think we're going to see a bit of a downgrade. Um... We haven't heard as much about Falcao in the last year since you know since he moved from Atletico to Monaco. Uh, I don't think he's settled in quite as well. I think he's only played about 17 or 18 games uh, in the last year. Probably struck by injury and stuff. Uh, but even so, uh, not absolutely tearing up the La Liga like he used to. You know, he's over up in League One nowadays. I think we'll see an 88 rated Falcao, uh, and the stats won't change too much because I don't think if you look at that 90 rated card, uh, I don't think it's really worth. I don't think the stats really show a 90 rated uh, because he's only got 86 shooting and 89 heading and the rest of the stats are fairly average. So I think I think we'll see them even out just a little bit, maybe go down by one in some categories. But I still think he'll have uh, some really, really good shooting and really great heading as well because he is an absolute world class striker. But I think we've just we've seen a bit of a quiet season for Falcao. Now moving on. James Rodriguez, James Rodriguez, however you like to pronounce it, is probably the hottest topic in football right about now. Uh, and what I've decided to do is upgrade him by a whopping three stats. And I think he's really deserved of it. You know, you can say what you want. He's had an amazing World Cup uh, and also a good season over in France. Again, for Monaco, he's a teammate of Falcao. Uh, uh, and he's just an insanely great player. Uh, I think he's deserved of an 86-rated cam card. And the stats that we'd be looking at are really, really awesome. 81 pace, 87 dribbling, 82 shooting, and also a lovely 86 passing as well. Uh, I think we'll still see the four-star skill moves and a three-star weak foot he is quite a left-footed player uh, uh, and he would just be immense you know looking at that card right there if, if it is in the center of the pitch 
would be phenomenal. You know, you're going to get a lot of people paying a lot of money for an 86 rated card uh, that can link up to the likes of Zlatan and stuff like that. Uh, and he is going to be one of those insane playmakers. 86 passing, 87 dribbling. He's getting up there with the, the likes of the better players in the Premier League. You know, you see uh, your Urzils, your David Silvers have all got great dribbling, great passing, but are not really known for anything else on Ultimate Team. Well, this guy will be known for some shooting and pace as well. So... That's going to be the end of today's episode. Which four players would you like me to do next? Comment down below uh, in the section. Also, let me know if you'd have changed anything that I've done today. Also, if you can reach 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. Make sure you do leave your comments, guys. I want to know uh, if you agree with what I've said or if you disagree. If so, why? You know, make a constructive um, argument. It's just how it should be. So thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you next time, guys. Peace.